All right, Capricorn, here we go. Soulmate Energies for April 2023. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Here's my pre-shuffle. Starts with the world, most powerful card I can pull. Ah, uh, very auspicious energy. It's a full circle energy. Um, I asked the universe before I hit the record button to tell me a little bit about the energy around the Capricornians, if you will. And I get the world crossed by justice. That alone means the black cat and the white cat are about to have a conversation. Alright? Something's come full circle here for someone. Some energy attached to this. What? Well, it's Capricorn energy. It's you. It's an obsession with you when it shows up here in the surface energy with the devil. But it, well, what, but what though? Well, it's crossed by the chariot, which is, which represents the soulmate cycle. And I thought to myself when I saw that, I thought, well, they're obsessed with the soulmate cycle. I don't know what that is. And here's the hierophant that explains it. The hierophant bookending the world. The hierophant sort of clarifying the chariot crossing the devil here. Um, it's someone who feels like there's something they need to say to you that if they don't it's, it's very for them it's very karmic it's very spiritual for them okay it's something like it's someone here who thinks there's an important conversation that has to be had you may not think it's important to them it's important that's what the devil means here okay it's it's selfish in a way uh, what they want to say to you but really in, in a way because the hierophant is here it involves the soulmate connection because the chariot represents the soulmate cycle for me as the energy reflects. So somebody's determined to, to, to speak their soul, if you will, to you. Okay? But it is from a fairly selfish perspective. Okay? They're doing it for their own reasons. Let's find out. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Capricorn for April 2023 universe. Let's go. Let's see where we go here. Uh, first card out is before the cut. So why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? I don't know. Let's find out. Three swords here. Yeah. Somebody's in a lot of pain here. Somebody is... There's regret attached to this. There's shame attached to this. There's... Somebody almost is obsessively can't figure out why they're in so much pain. Maybe that's what they want to talk about. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out what comes after the cut. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. They figured something out. That's happening all through April. The first half of April is all about figuring things out. It puts all of us at a crossroads. It's a card of the student here with the Page of Pentacles. Somebody's figured out that, well, yo, you represent the rainbow. And they're in three swords. And why? I need to figure something out. I need to have a conversation with them. So again, the conversation could have a good result. But it's coming from a place of somebody needing to resolve that three of swords from within them. Okay? And so it's a conversation you might have with a person. Uh, it could be your runner. It could be someone else around you. It can be that you have a soul connection with. It's a conversation that you have with a person that, that is doing it. Whether you want to hear it or not, they got something to say. Mm -hmm. It's like that. All right. Let's go. Shuffle the deck. Final shuffle. Let's get ourselves a reading. Give me the soulmate cycle. From the angle of Capricorn for April 2023. Here we go. The overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table. Another circle. A wheel of fortune. Hmm. Whatever it is, it's a game changer. Uh, I can tell you that. It puts an end to what was, and then something new happens. This is a 10 in the major arcana. It's an end and dead end that leads to a new beginning. And here, here we go. Two of Pentacles. Um... Uh, I would normally say it's somebody making a decision about this conversation, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels like the universe is saying, while it does tr change everything, this conversation does change everything. It, it can go both ways. It can change it either good or bad. Okay? So, just being honest, that's, what it's, that's how the energy is reflecting. All right. Our reading's on the flip. Right here is the energy around your connection. Right here is how your person's behaving in the 3D. Right here is their soul energy. Right here is the uh, hidden energy, message uh, from the universe, read with the energy of your connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. You ready? Right here. Uh, energy around your connection. Knight of Cups. Yep. Somebody's got something to say to you. 
Uh, I've already said it. I've, I've been talking about this card since before it came out. Okay? Incoming. All right. 3D. How are they behaving in the 3D in their life? Six of Cups. Yep. Yep. They're thinking about the past. They're thinking about what happened. They're thinking about that Three of Swords. They're thinking about the pain. Somebody from the past is returning. We've already been talking about both of these cards since before they came out. Soul energy right here. Book ending the Knight of Cups. Their soul. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's an inner conflict with this person. Five of Wands is the weakest energy as I read it, as it reflects for me off these cards. Um, it's... Uh, Again, it almost reads like a devil energy. It's like there's a dual purpose for them coming in. This energy is sometimes read as somebody arguing with themselves, kind of a thing like that. But that's not really what happens when it falls in the soul position. It's somebody coming in that may cause a conflict, okay? Because they're not really speaking from their soul, per se. They're just wanting to figure out, I don't even want to say why you matter, just why there's so much three swords here. Okay? They've been doing, obviously in the beginning of the month, they're going to do a lot of reflecting back on this. Alright. Hidden energy, message from the universe, red with the Knight of Cups. King of Cups. A lot of love. But it's held back a little bit. And that, that's why this is here. Okay? It's held. And that's why the universe said, it's a game changer, but it could go either way. It depends how you perceive this conversation. It depends where it goes. It's going to vary for all of you. Potential final outcome. Red with the Six of Cups. Ten of Wands. It creates more problems than it solves. Whatever this conversation is creates more problems than it solves. But it's problems we can get past. And there could be a new beginning after that. Alright? Okay. And it probably creates more problems than it solves because of this card. And because of this card. Holding back a little bit. Alright. Energy around your connection. Yep. We've already been talking about it. Somebody coming in. Alright. Knight of Cups. Why is it here? Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yep. Somebody is anxious. Somebody coming in. Right there. Knight of Cups. It's caused by the Nine of Swords. Somebody anxious about it. Somebody nervous about this communication. Multiple birds in the air. Nervous. Nervous about this communication. Nervous about coming in. And when we get nervous about doing things, we tend to screw them up. That's why I say remain neutral whenever possible. Be cool. This person's not being cool. What's on top? Three of Pentacles. Yep, somebody coming in. They want, they want something. They want to get something off their chest. They want to try again, but I don't think, I don't think they're doing it the right way. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Eight of Wands. There's a communication coming. What they want is all of this Knight of Cups. I'm not sure they know how to get it because of the Nine of Swords crossing. This is communication. Somebody wants to try again. Fine. The opportunity and the energy is there. But somebody's holding back. And that's creating... There could be, and they're holding back because they're conflicted within themselves. All the way down to the soul. They listen to the soul, they don't. They listen to the soul, they don't. That's what the Five of Wands means there. So it's not a solid energy. It creates problems when the conversation is had. It can go either way. The universe tell, told us that in the overall energy. Okay. Six of Cups. Why is it here? Why is the Six of Cups here? Eight of Pentacles. Um, again, it's a selfish energy. It's someone, the environmental energy around this Six of Cups. This thinking back to the past and all of that. Someone wanting to know how to fix it. I'm not picking up a lot of emotion here or somebody wanting to come in and bang or somebody wanting to come in and marry you or something like that. I'm just getting somebody wants. They want what they want because they want it. Because they can't go forward until they fix this. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Card of the Apprentice. Working hard trying to get free. Trying to get to the Nine of Pentacles. Right? What's on top? Two of Cups. Two cups and the six of cups universe telling me they're aware this is some kind of soulmate connection. These two cards in close proximity in a reading. Tell me how deep your soul connection is. It's very deep. I think they're figuring that out. But I think that makes them nervous. It makes all the runners nervous. It always does. We saw the nine of swords here. Why is the two of cups here? Yeah, the hangman. Um, 
somebody has very deep feelings for you for this connection what they're wondering about what they want to come in and fix well no I should rephrase that what they're wondering about is why they never did anything about it and it's almost as though they blame you for them not doing anything about it it's a bit of a blame shifting energy here okay but someone definitely does feel this connection if you told them we're soulmates and they said no we're not if there's if your person is that type of person uh, they now are aware that well there's something here right like that um, but again it's an energy of someone who wants to fix it just to fix it just to fix that three of swords why is five of wands here in the soul why is it here but if you're waiting on communication, this is one of the strongest angles I've pulled on here in my fly through the zodiac where communication is likely to happen for more than not, right? But it can go either way. Why is the five of wands here? Nine cups. Um, it's a good card in the soul position, the environmental energy around it. You make them very happy. Which in turn, these are bookending these cards, Nine of Swords crossing makes them very nervous. That's what I already told you. Oh, yeah, you do make them very happy. You open their heart chakra with that Six of Wands accidentally landing there, which goes here. So I've already said it. You open their heart chakra, you make them very happy. Uh-huh. And, and yet, that makes them nervous, which causes a conflict inside. Why is the Six of Wands here? Judgment. So somebody wants a second chance. Right? There's a very strong, their soul is strongly urging them to communicate. Okay? Right here, judgment directly bookending the Eight of Wands. Okay? The soul is strongly urging them to communicate. But this is somebody who, because of this Five of Wands, I'll carry the energy over here, is going to hold back a little bit. Alright? Maybe a lot bit. I'm not sure. Again, remember what I said in the pre-shuffle and the cut cards all right king of cups why'd you give me the king of cups universe as if i don't already know uh, uh i had a card fall on the floor and now i'm done shuffling i will pick up the card on the floor it was a high priestess and it fell just like that reversed high priestess reversed energy um it's crossed the king of cups by the fool okay Again, they're not acting from the soul in this communication. They're acting primarily from the ego. And the ego does not want to get hurt, so the ego holds back. All right? Uh, the energy here, yeah, it's a leap of faith, but it's a real half-assed one. A little bit. A little bit. Why is the, uh, why'd this fall on the floor? Yeah, the moon. They're holding back. This is my queen of cups in this lightseer deck because she got red hair. My little, nobody should ever put a red head underwater. Look at that, not holding down like that. You don't want to drown redheads. There's so few of them. Come on. Uh, it's right here. Uh, it's, it's all that love pushed back, held back, held under. And, and I imagine it's all coming up because I've got a high priestess reversed. It, I don't think they can push it back, but they are. They're holding back with this King of Cups. There, there's, a, there's such a fear. There's such an anxiety with that Nine of Swords that was crossing here about opening up that the net result is a conversation where there's a lot of holding back. There's a lot left unsaid. This is red with the Eight of Wands, the actual communication. And when the moon and the Eight of Wands are together, there's a lot left unsaid. There's a lot of emotions left under the surface here. So, it creates a problem in the end. The Ten Wands. A problem is created because of it. A burden. It's heavy. It's frustrating. Right? There's a frustration attached to this. Why is the Ten of Wands here? What's the final final on this? I think, I think it could be turned around. It, it, for some of you, it depends. It depends on your reaction to it. You already know this in advance, so you shouldn't be surprised. You know, you could prepare for it. <clears throat> Why is the Ten of Wands here? What's, what's, where's this Ten of Wands going? What's the final final on this? Justice. Yeah. I think it's a dam that breaks the Ten of Wands with Justice crossing it. All right. the, the environmental energy is, is there's a conversation about to happen. And that conversation, the black, this is the black cat and the white cat having a conversation we saw up in the pre-shuffle, right? Um, and it, it should fix things. It should balance things out. I got balanced energy here. See, I got two cups here. I got two cups here. These are red with these. Yeah, it should. It should. But it doesn't because of this. 
because of what we've been taught in this over here, this five of wands. What's on top? Nine cups. That ties us over to here. That was the card that was crossing the five of wands and the soul. We bring it down here. Yeah. It's, it's like when I have a conversation that's happening between two long lost soulmates that's supposed to balance things and someone's coming toward their nine cups and I get it and sit all sitting on top of a ten of wands I get a conversation where you're scratching your head going afterward going what happened here how did this go this way even they're wondering that why is the nine of cups here the queen of swords because they this is the truth okay there's two layers of energy here two main layers there's like 50 layers but there's two main layers one why is the nine of cups here the queen of swords this is the truth okay uh, that you're their nine cups you are the two cups they do understand that they do feel the connection with two cups on top of six cups but also in another layer of energy on the B side of that the whole conversation somebody come it's a real head scratcher somebody coming to get their nine cups and being cold and detached it says it right here it's pretty cold to knock to push somebody underwater the Queen of Cups hold her down she can't hold her breath forever all right, so again, there is a conversation coming here, but it leaves a bit of a stalemate. This cold, because they're cold and detached, it leaves us in the hangman. These two are red together, these two are red together. So it leaves a bit of a stalemate of sorts. It leaves everything in limbo. Well, now it's a real head scratcher, right? What the, it's a conversation you have with somebody and you say afterward, what the hell just happened here? All right, it's a bit like that. So again, before I shuffle it away, it can go either way. Huh? That's your overall energy. Um, some of you might like this. What, what do I mean by it, it can go either way? Some of you might be okay with this. You're just happy to hear from this person. It proves, it validates you. It proves everything you ever thought. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Why not? Uh, there's a strong prob probability. I can't predict free will. But within the energy... There's the opportunity for a conversation to happen, and somebody is definitely interested in that. There's no doubt about that. Okay? So, hey, there's a good chance. There you go. Uh, I'm going to ask the universe if there's anything else it wants to tell you. Anything else you want to tell Capricorn? Give me three cards from the bottom. Give it to me here. Three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. Here we go. The Empress, the Four of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Four of Cups. This message has been coming up for at least four of the signs I've done. You're my 10th reading today. 10th reading today. I don't know if I got enough in me to do Aquarius and Pisces and finish all 12 in one day. I don't know. I will try, but I'm not sure. I don't want to shortchange anybody on a reading because I'm tired. That said, this reading, this, this message from the universe has come up no less than five times. It has to be. It's very simple. Who cares? What this person does, it doesn't matter. You're the fucking empress. This person is likely to disappoint you, but even if they just show up and disappoint you, even if you're not interested after this, it brings a lot of healing. It shows you that you were right. It, it brings up your, it raises your vibration. If nothing else, it shows you how far you've come and allows you to move forward. And that is a positive thing. Okay? It does allow you to do that. All right, it, it's just a message that keeps coming up. The universe is like the DFs are so much higher vibration than the DMs in the cycle right now. It's it's just best just to tell the DF, hey, you know, if they come in and they're an asshole, whatever. If they're not going to tell you how they feel, hey, everybody wants to bang the empress, but not everybody gets to. All right, you'll be fine. Why? Because everybody wants to bang the empress. All you got to do as the empress is separate the wheat from the chaff. That's all. Whatever happens here, which is likely to disappoint you, still brings healing. Okay? And yeah, it is likely to disappoint you. This person's holding on to a lot of love here. That's my queen of cups underwater. A lot. And they come out all swordsy and shit. Right? You're coming after your nine cups. Go get it. You're going after the empress. Go get it. Open up fully. Don't be this king of cups. Hold him back. All right? So whatever happens, happens. You're the Empress. It allows you to move forward no matter what. And there is a rainbow on this card. I want to point that out. So riding off into the sunset kind of energy, I suppose. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. 
If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. It's an honest read. It is what it is. There is a strong probability of a conversation. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I can't predict free will. Some of you got a super fuck wit, and they'll chicken out at the last minute. We could see that over here. And with the nine of swords crossing in the energy of the connection. Sometimes people just chicken out. It is what it is. But they're in a lot of pain. And they're definitely feeling the connection. There's no doubt about that. Why? Well, this is why. This is irresistible. And it's hard to miss. It's pretty hard to miss a burning tree in a dark field. Especially when it's the only tree there. Right? That's your reading. Good luck, Capricorn.